I know you've had some bad days recently. I, I've had some bad days too. In fact, why do bad days seem to happen more often than good days? And, and sometimes it's just the little things that get under my skin. How about you? Where like, you know, you, you mistakenly put your sweater in the laundry with the other stuff and, and you had it on hot and now your sweater's, you know, about this big. It would fit a little tiny doll, not you. And so you're like, oh, you know, super frustrated. Or, or you forgot to put a bill in the mail on time and so now you're going to have a late fee and you're like, oh, or maybe the kids have been fighting and then your husband comes home and you're a tad grouchy because you know you've had one of those days and so what do we tend to do with that moment I don't know if you're like me but for some bizarre and odd reason we tend to take it out on our husbands I mean they're they walk on by they just walk in the door and we're like <laughs> like like this angry cat ah, clawing their eyes out you know we, we verbally just start spewing things and you know one husband described it to the, me this way he said when i walk home at the end of my average day and i walk in the door i can see in a moment if my wife has had a bad day because she's like a buzzsaw it's like i'm walking into a buzzsaw she's just churning and slicing and dicing with her words yikes right what to do, what to do. This is what I've learned. First of all, I know the enemy's trying to provoke me. So ladies, don't take the bait. Don't let Satan have the victory here. But then secondly, sometimes we do need to vent, but let's choose the right person to vent to. Instead of using our husbands as the scapegoat for our no good, bad, terrible day and our grouchiness, instead of using him as the scapegoat, how about if we just give all these burdens and concerns and maybe even a few gripes to Jesus because he has broad shoulders. Listen to what Psalm 40 says. I waited patiently for the Lord. He turned to me and heard my cry. He lifted me up out of the slimy pit, out of the mud and mire. He set my feet on a rock and gave me a firm place to stand. God hears us when we're crying out in irritability, grouchiness, when we've had one of those bad days, he has broad shoulders. He can take it a whole lot better than our husbands. In fact, you know that word scapegoat? Because again, we often use our husbands as the scapegoat for our no good, bad, terrible day. But do you know the origin of the word scapegoat? It's actually in reference to when the Israelites symbolically gave a goat their sins and then sent that goat off into the desert. That's the scapegoat. That actually is what Jesus does for us. He does that in reality by taking our sins away, but also he has the broad shoulders to take your horrible day where you're all irritable and grouchy and he can listen to those complaints and he can pat you on the back, maybe not physically, but just kind of give you that emotional hug that you need, listen to all that stuff, and then he just carries it away so that when your husband walks in the door at the end of the day, you've already released your burdens to the scapegoat and you can actually greet your husband with a smile. Your husband will be ever so happy, your children will be ever so happy, and you will actually be happier. Give your burdens to Jesus. He can handle it.